Okay. All right. Okay. Hi. Guys. Hi. I'm How are you so doing? Happy to see you guys. Good. I'm doing good. Good. Doing good. good. How are you guys? Good. good. Excellent. Great. Great. Fred and I have shown, I think this is the fourth show that we have shown together. And I have to say, I think due to the space, due to the work itself, this is the most cohesive and successful show that mm -hmm. we've had together. Uh, and that's something that's kind of interesting to have two working artists. We, we obviously were, were married and uh, we live together, we primarily work together. Uh, I do have a few outside studios, but that's been kind of hit and miss over the years. But I think that, hey, that, that, I think that owes to what we make and how we borrow from one another. <laughs> and I think that there is a, a language that we've definitely uh, developed over the years. And uh, again, uh, I do think this is the most successful show that we've had together. It's always, the collage is really kind of special because my first solo show in Kansas City was with the coalition. So it's always kind of nice to, to have this history with them. And it, it's worked out really well in this space. It's, it's, it's kind of amazing. Every time I look around, I see, I just saw something new right there that I have to get a picture of, so. Uh, you know, it started out, like I said, it started out during the pandemic. So it was very much about home and, and isolation, but it quickly became about getting back out into the world. Uh, if you look at them, that's, that's really what they're about. They're, they're breaking out and, and having life again. Uh, they're kind of, for the most part, I think they're kind of resolved at this point. I've kind of moved on to some other things. I mean, occasionally I'm still doing a few of these, but I did had some technological changes because these were done on a little tablet, and I've had to go to a new one now, which has brought up a new way of doing the same thing. So yeah, they're, they're definitely have moved on. You know, it's uh, it, this was a very long time ago, but when I was in graduate school. Uh, I entered school, I uh, went to Washington University in St. Louis, and I uh, was studying painting, and it was my first semester. Uh, I got called into the uh, uh, graduate school head, and he said, we would like to make a deal with you if you, I, because I was doing some ceramics too, he said, if you want, uh, we will pay for your education and um, you can get an, a second MFA in ceramics. So I think the 2D, 3D thing has been baked into the cake for me for a very long time. So it's not uh, unfamiliar territory for me, even though I think this work um, is probably the most cohesive with the paintings. And that's, I think that's something that a lot of 2D, 3D artists struggle with, is how am I going to make this work talk to one another, or at least have a similar language? And um, yeah, I think, this is, I think this is very successful. Um, this is a successful storytelling. Right. Um, you know, they're small spaces, great for me. It was, it was I, I was very fortunate because I was at a time when I was working, uh, I had an overspill area in, the, in our house and it was going into the yard. And you know, that's, that's, a, that's a nine month studio. You can't really work in the dead of winter out there because paint does not dry, <laughs> it has to be a certain temperature. And, um, but I was lucky I got that space. And then within a couple of months, uh, I got another bigger studio on Troost. And so, you know, I, I'm able to work on the large paintings in, that, in, that, in the Troost studio. 
and the smaller work I can I can work here uh, at KCAC and uh, really fortunate deal for me I mean it, it's 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 a it's a you know Trist is not too far from here my my studio isn't too far from from here so um, it, it kind of works out uh, pretty well. I, it's it's a practice I can do. Uh, so I'm trying to figure out the difference between these two things, because uh, photography is more about going out in the world to some degree. Although I do a lot of pictures at home too. Uh, the drawing is more intimate. Uh, it's me and my tablet and. It's more or less taking things from the outside and putting them in there and seeing what happens with them. Uh, photography is still still with me. Uh, I just I just submitted some photo based work for a thing, so you know it's it's still there. But they're different practices, but they're somehow complementary, and they're they're just I love them both, and it's just this this kind of flow between the two of them. Although the, the, the drawing has been more prevalent lately, but yeah. There's always my two loves, so, you know. Oh, it was great. It's always interesting with these because, like I said, they're done on a tablet, so they look different because they're backlit, so they're brighter. And then putting them on paper, you don't know how that's coming to come out. And it turns out they came out really fabulously. And the interplay between the two of them is just like I say. Every time I look around, I see, I see new combinations of things. And uh, yeah, and it was it, it was really great to work here. You know, it's just you know. Um, I again, I'm going to reiterate that this is this is a very success, successful show for 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 both of us. And uh, I think giving us the latitude to move the walls and really work with the space, work in the space and work and allow to move, allow us to move things around. And, and I, and I appreciate you being there with us, but at the same time, hands off and letting us kind of make our own decisions without and make and, and guiding us to make the right decisions. <laughs> so, um, so anyway, I, I, I think that is something about, uh, an art, an artist-centric space. Uh, I guess we can say nonprofit space, but I don't know if all nonprofit spaces work like Kansas City Artist Coalition. Um, but it's just that freedom to to let us move things around, and of course, absolutely having movable walls that changes the complexity, uh, or the, uh, yeah, it, it creates complexity, and at the same time, it solves problems. So. So anyway, sorry about that. <laughs> it's okay. Well, I just want to thank, you know, Kansas City Artist Coalition. I mean, it really has been, I mean, I, I'm, I'm putting my CV together and uh, just making sure I'm filling in all the holes. And, and I started showing with, the coalition in 1983 and that's just that's just amazing to me that we've had that kind of an ex i've had that kind of an experience with the coalition all those years and um you know it's a it's it's it is it, even though this is the third it's the third location for me um but it always feels like home to me and that that's something that I think we're very fortunate to have in yeah. Kansas City. I don't want to get too soppy about it, but <laughs> it means a lot. It means a lot yes. to, yes. to us anyway. <laughs>